Africa, Genesi d'America. It is a great honor to confident that you express in me by our members. I promise that I will work faithfully to make our association even greater. A solid foundation was laid by uh, our past presidents, Giro Sarra, Giuseppe Soldi, Giovanni Pepe, Pasquale Corucci, and Rosario Marcigliano. We are grateful to them for the great work in the past 23 years. They are big shoes to fill, but it is my hope to continue in their great work in the coming years. One of my objectives is the increased communication with the association members. Some of the ways we have increased communication is with Facebook, internet, uh, web page, uh, automatic group phone calling. Also, I will be available anytime uh, to members who wish to contact me. Additionally, I want to reach out at the same time, not only to adult Cajonese who are not yet members, but also to the young people to the younger generation, because they are the future of this association. Through them, we want to pass on our culture and tradition. We are about to start a couple of projects to keep our culture and tradition alive. For example, one of the projects that I, want to, that I would like to start is a video, video project. It's already in the works. We got people uh, signed up. Also, video interviews using only Cajanese dialect. And this is conjunction with people in Cajano who are going to do something on the internet. This is a work in progress. I'll let you know more through Facebook. Contact me if you would like to participate. Uh, we need people, and uh, so this way we can keep the culture alive. Participation by young and old will ensure that the Associazione Cajanese America will survive for many generations. With hard work from everybody and continued involvement, we will surely succeed. To be successful, no one person can do it alone. I will work closely with the administration and members. Uh, and members. Suggestions from all who are part of this great organization are welcome with open arms. Congratulations this, uh, to this year honorees Prima Cagliano 2018. Michael Lamatina from New York. Yes. Sono molto onorato per la fiducia che mi avete 
e ma stata reggendo il presidente della sezione cagianese d'America. Voglio ringraziare i vicepresidenti attuali e i miei predecessori presidenti per l'impegno e la passione che hanno messo al servizio della nostra sezione, contribuendo alla crescita culturale negli anni. Uno degli obiettivi è quello di aumentare la comunicazione tra i membri e i non membri. Un altro è quello di incoraggiare i giovani a far parte della nostra amata associazione. Allora vogliamo tramandare la nostra cultura e tradizione. Stiamo organizzando dei progetti che ci aiuteranno a mantenere la nostra cultura e tradizione. Per esempio, faremo dei video di cultura di cucina cagianese. Faremo anche eh, un video ai cagianesi parlando solamente di dialetto cagianese. Mettetevi in contatto con me se volete partecipare. Anche voglio dare i miei auguri agli onorari e ringrazio i membri che hanno aiutato a organizzare questa sera questa bella gala annuale. Uh, this speech will not be complete from my part unless I say three things which I like to say all the time because it affected us uh, from the beginning, from here to here. I like to say God bless Gajano, God bless Italy, and God bless the United States of America. Uh, the mayor, uh, Giovanni Caggiano, sends his greetings and wishes us continued success. Also, Don Vittorio, also Don Vittorio sends us his blessing to all of us, and I have a little bit of a surprise. When I went to Italy, I went there to give my donation from the Association of Cajonese America, and I videotaped them, and I asked them to say a few words. It's about two minutes and a half. Please uh, pay attention, because he's, he's talking about us here all over the world, the Cajonese here and the other Cajonese all over the world. Don Vito, un paio per una donazione dall'Associazione Cagese d'America. Affettuosamente ringrazio per questo contributo che, ecco, senz'altro facilita come tutti coloro i contributi che mandano. Quindi la, eh, la combinazione e la spedizione di voce amica, che la voce di Caggiano per i suoi figli che si trovano nelle varie parti del mondo e poiché la nazione in cui sono emigrati più cagionesi è l'America ebbene un pensiero particolare per i cagionesi d'America quindi affettuosamente ringrazio della loro amicizia e nello stesso tempo contraccampio dando tanti tanti auguri di un'affermazione quindi morale spirituale ma anche economica nella nazione in cui vivono e operano sì. e ti ringrazio queste, con queste belle parole noi cagianesi vi vogliamo ma bene ma per me è un piacere quindi è anche un, un affettuoso ricordo di questi nostri compaesani che ho, ho, ho avuto il piacere di vedere di incontrarmi e nello stesso tempo ecco confermare una tradizione degli cagianesi del paese verso i cagianesi eh, di tutto il mondo in modo, in modo particolare degli Stati Uniti ancora una volta Don Vito ti ringrazio per tutto quello che hai fatto ok quindi dopo di me ci sia chi riprenda ah, ci sarà questa sicuro. attività che tiene è vicino a tutti i cagianesi, sì. quindi eh, in Italia e all'estero. Okay. Va bene allora Don Vito, ringrazio un'altra volta Grazie, Don e Don spero di rivederti anche il prossimo anno ma, quando vengo in Italia. Ma speriamo, okay. io 
stanno alle mani del Signore. A tutti ormai, ormai ho raggiunto i 91 anni. Nate cento, eh, nate cento. Eh, e eh, in ogni modo ringrazio il Signore. Ogni mattina celebro la Santa Messa qui in questo mio studio. Vengono anche alcune persone perché per me quindi continuare a essere sacerdote di Dio come ho fatto per tutta la mia vita è, una, è un onore, un piacere e nello stesso tempo quindi con tante belle soddisfazioni. Allora ti, ti salutiamo per adesso e ci rivedremo un'altra volta e il prossimo Speriamo, sì, il, sì, sì. il desiderio è quello, ma stiamo nelle mani del Signore. Sì, stiamo nelle mani del Signore. Sì, grazie, eh, grazie, 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 grazie Don Vittorio. Eh. Eh, io verrò il prossimo anno e voglio rivederti un'altra volta. Eh. Grazie, grazie molto. Ciao a tutti. Buone cose. I'd like to announce uh, we have Jimmy Lisa from GIA, Giornalito Americano. Welcome, Jimmy. Orlando Foschi. Also, we have Domenico Vinci, Delegato, Regione, Botania, per gli Stati Uniti. Association gives out to recognize people who represent our culture and our town. And so for the Premio Cajano from New York, I'd like to call up Terry La Martina to make the presentation. She'll be presenting to her husband Michael La Martina. And if you would come up with your family, please. Absolute true meaning of a gentleman. 
I knew that from our first date, that he was a gentleman. Although he was two hours late for our first date, um, I guess. But the truth was, he was helping Nananeta with her TV. So his grandmother trumped our date. And that's when I knew. I think that's probably when I realized, oh yeah, I could fall in love with this guy. I could totally love him. He would love any girl before, you know, he would love his grandmother before any girl. He's a good guy. He really is. He's polite, he's respectful, he is considerate, and he's attentive to everyone, especially his family. He's kind, he's loyal, he has a ton of integrity, he's honest, he's humble, which I'm not. Um, he has a lot of self-confidence and he always has a positive attitude, which is so important in having a good family and having a good marriage. It really is, because we absolutely have a healthy marriage, a healthy one. We fight every day. We love hard, but because of you, I learned to let go and always be positive and not to be grateful and to just realize that there are more important things. He's a good father and he's a good husband. I'm blessed. I'm not done. <laughs> Are you kidding? Wait a minute. I'm so not done. He's really fabulous. And you really, he's so humble that it's my time to tell you how fabulous you are. You really are. He really is. Um, okay. With that being said, uh, he's one, he truly is. He realizes when things are not right and we need to fix them. He realizes when I'm going crazy and I need you know him to like ground me a little bit. He really is. So recently, this summer, he took on um, something really big. Uh, our community, our Grayson Association, didn't have a baseball team anymore. After, I don't know, 50, 60 something years, they had no more baseball. And none of my three kids play baseball. They play every other sport but baseball. But my husband was like, wait a minute, our Lady of Grace doesn't have a baseball team anymore. And I was like, Mike, who cares? Who cares? So they don't have a baseball team. We're moving on from that. But he took it upon himself to start up the program again. He dedicated himself and volunteered to work with these kids, and he did. And people come over to me and tell me what a fabulous husband I am. And because I'm not humble, I tell them, I know, I know, I know, he's great. Okay, so this is it. I read the best saying ever. I was trying to think about some things to say, and I was like, I really don't need to. But then I read something that was awesome. If a man makes you laugh, kisses your forehead, says he's sorry, makes an effort, holds your hand, works hard, and attempts at everything that you believe in, he's quite perfect. And that's my husband, Michael Amatina. He's perfect. what you want to do with 
everything around you. Uh, and I often say we're only a product of what's around us, our friends, our family, our love. So thank you for this wonderful honor. Thank you, my family. Um, thank everybody. And uh, Tony, back to you. Thank you. Big round of applause.